given how significant this is, will it have an impact on the foundation? Right now, their line is that it will not impact the foundation. We've been told they're going to remain co-chairs and trustees. There are going to be no changes to their roles or the organization, um, and they're going to continue to work together, which is also what they said in their statement. Um, however, you know, working alongside your ex-spouse might prove to be difficult, so who knows if there will eventually be changes. It's not uncommon, we've been told, for wealthy people to end up splitting the foundation in two when something like this happens. So just to talk about the stake here, $145.8 billion in terms of the fortune, as well as, as you've already mentioned, this sprawling philanthropy uh, operation as well. So how, how, how does this happen? How does this work out? Right, so they live in Washington State, which is a community property state, which means that anything they acquired while they were married is equitable. It's both Bill's and Melinda's. Um, and they very well could split it 50-50. However, what we saw with uh, Mackenzie Scott and Jeff Bezos' divorce in 2019, also in Washington State, um, that's not what ended up happening. Jeff ended up getting 75% of the Amazon stake and Mackenzie got 25%. So right now we're, we're not sure what's going to end up happening with the fortune um, and how it's going to be split. And we're also not sure on how long it's going to take. It, it depends whether they've already filed. There's a 90-day holding period before they can actually dissolve the marriage. Um, so we don't know where they are in that process either. Sophie, any idea what happened so here? We've no, no, I, I have no, no clue. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, we've talked about the, the inevitable comparisons to the other big tech billionaires split, uh, Mackenzie and, and Jeff Bezos, of course, or Mackenzie Scott, I should say, now back in 2019. Uh, how does this compare in terms of the complexity and whether that precedent could give us an indication of what happens here? Yeah, there are definitely a lot of similarities um, and a lot of differences between uh, the, the two couples. Obviously, they are both uh, tech billionaires who live in Washington, um, and, but the Amazon fortune that was held by Jeff McKenzie was much more straightforward. Most of his wealth was held in Amazon. They had a 16% stake. Uh, Jeff got three quarters of it, and McKenzie got four, what ended up being 4% of it. Um, so that was pretty straightforward. Uh, the, the Gates fortune is not so straightforward. Um, there's the Microsoft uh, holdings, which only make up about $26 billion of that total, $146 billion. Um, and then it's split up among a bunch of other things. So how that's going to be split up, it could get complicated mm. too.